Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Earning Our Stripes, and Ben, it's Game Week! We are two days away from us, from us when we are recording this currently on Tuesday. We have two more days! Uh, for all of you listening, it is Game Day! Game Day! Ben will be dressed in his special little uniform, and, uh... We'll be carrying a special Cuba. liberal little band uniform. Yep. We'll be vlogging the game and as the Missouri Tigers welcome as in. As best the... as I can. Yeah. As your Missouri Tigers, that's right, your Missouri Tigers will be welcoming in the Bulldogs from Louisiana Tech on a weird Thursday night game. I I don't know how to feel about a Thursday night game still. When was the last time Mizzou had a Thursday night game? Uh, it the stat has been put out there, but it's been a long time. It's been a very long time. Um, but because it is game week, Ben, that means we finally got depth charts revealed. That is indeed true. Uh and let's start with the uh, least surprising out of all of them. Uh, your kicker for this year is Harris Meva- Harrison Mevis. Surprise, surprise. The thicker kicker, number 92. If he doesn't, the go. If he doesn't get a standing ovation, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> no, I'm going to be 100% standing for him, even though I'm already going to be standing for band. <laughs> yeah, you better you better get every other member of the band around you to just go nuts whenever he gets announced. Oh, yeah, 100%. So, but, uh, yep. Harrison Mevis, your place kicker. Kickoff, however, will be Sean Cottering. Which, uh, did he do kickoffs last year? He might. I can't re- I, I, I feel like he did. I I, think, I know Mevis was tossed in there a couple of times, but... I legitimately don't remember, so... I just know it's like, man, who's this Sean guy? All I care about is Harrison Mevis. But I feel bad, though, because Sean's been here longer. Yeah. Uh, Sean will also be hun- or the punter and the holder. Your snapper will be Jake Hoffman. Let's go! The most important Carney position. Boy. Carney the, boy. Yes, the Carney boy. The most important position on the field. The long snapper. Uh-huh. Uh, Abram Strain will be the kick returner and the punt returner this year for your Tigers. Surprisingly not Luther Burden. Well, I'm wondering if that's because he's uh, young and they don't want to just murder him yet. <laughs> Yeah, completely just obliterate him Yeah, that early. But we do have the rest of the depth chart has been revealed, Ben. It has. I will let you take over on the offense while I do the defense. Defensively, here are how your Tigers are going to be coming out. Your starting defensive ends, Trenjon Jeffcoat and Isaiah, uh, Isaiah McGuire... Are going to be your starting defensive ends? Adrian Walker, Tyron Hopper, DJ Coleman, and Johnny Walker will also be your defensive ends. Just not starting. Defensive tackles, Darius Robertson and Jaden Jerrigan will be... Darius Robinson? Darius Robinson, yes. <laughs> Along with another number 92, Christian Williams. Uh, excuse me, sir, there's only one 92 on this team. He's thick. Well, this one probably is too. But uh, Jaden Jergen uh, is number zero this year. I I don't. Don't they give that number? Don't they give that number zero to like some guy on the defensive line that's like really you, like you a gotta stand be a out, like stud, really good. Though. You have to be a stud yeah. to pull off a number zero. 
So, uh, Josh Landry, Regis George Jr., uh, Daniel, Daniel Rebel, Robledo, I hope I pronounced that right, are your other defensive tackles. Your Mike will be Chad Bailey, great name. Uh, Damian Wilson and Will Norris will also be your Mike linebackers. Your Will is Tyrone Hopper, and Devin Nicholson is your other one. Corners, Chris Abrams Drain, Drayden Norwood, Ennis Rostak Jr., DJ Jackson, LJ Hewitt. Uh, your star, which I think is basically a bandit. Don't quote me on that. A bit, if you don't know what a bandit is, that's a term that... It's like an, a nickel as well is another term for it. Yeah. Is going to be Mart's Manual. So Martez Manual will be the starting star. And uh, Dalen Carnell will be the other one. Safety, Jalen Carlius and Joseph Charleston. Kind of interesting. Although they also have Jelnai Williams as the other safety. So I don't think they fully under or fully uh, figured out who's going to be starting at safety. That second safety spot. Yeah. Tyler Hibber, Hibbler and Jamon Wayne are your other safeties. So that is the Mizzou defense. Uh, thoughts on that? Uh, I was, I, I was, I found it interesting that, um, that one guy that they super, I, for, I keep forgetting his name, but the guy that they extremely recruited out of Boonville, that was like a four star, like defensive end linebacker type that we got that, um, he's not, yeah. it, he's not at least listed on here. Yeah. Um, give me a moment while I try to find who that was. I I always forget his name. <laughs> yeah, I can't find it right now. Ben, the offense, if you will. Yeah. Let's... I I'm I'm almost there to finding his name. Oh, okay. Um. Yo, Sam Horn's rocking the number twenty-one. Yep. Okay. Kind of like um, it. It's weird to see that as a quarterback, but you know, whatever. Yeah. It is. Man, what the heck? Where'd he go? Yeah, DJ Westloke. Yeah, I didn't even read that name off, so. Yeah, they have him at, listed at uh, defensive line, uh, number 45, freshman. Yeah, I did not uh, say his name, so. Interesting. They may be a little bit of a, him. Maybe they might. But, Mr. But. Button, it is now time for your Tigers offense. Do your best to be the PA guy. Do it in the voice of the PA guy for Mizzou. <laughs> your Missouri Tiger. Oh, you didn't quite do it right. It's your Missouri yeah, Tigers. <laughs> but at the starting quarterback position, no we have Br Brady Cook. No surprise there. Yeah, and backing him up, is Jack Abraham, the guy who I thought was going to win the job. And then we have Sam Horn and Tyler Macon. Sam Horn! I, I, speak, speaking of the quarterbacks, I thought it was really funny, because I saw this yesterday. But um, they're like, Tyler Macon, the next greatest uh, Southeast Missouri Starting quarterback. <laughs> oh, or whatever. Damn. Damn. Because he, he, he won't ever be starting here, and then it's just like, well, guess I'm going someplace else. Yeah, he yeah, he ain't starting, which sucks, because he was actually, we were pretty excited when we got him as a recruit, so. Yeah. I don't know, maybe he could be a... Uh, a, uh, oh, God. 
not Franklin, but the guy that was before Franklin and after Gabbert. I'm blanking on his name, but he was the quarterback then for Mizzou. I can't remember. Exactly. Maybe he could be him. Okay. Our starting running backs. We have no idea. (laughs) Yeah, but... There's three starting running backs. We have Elijah Young, Cody Schrader, and Nathaniel Pete. And I'm guessing underneath that is fullback, or is that just more running backs? That's more running backs. Those That is, these are not the starters. <laughs> yeah, uh, Taj Butts. Great name. Michael Cox. Great and name. BJ BJ Harris. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no, oh geez, the, like the... Like, the three non-starting running backs, they all have something with their name, dude. Butts, Cox, Uh, and BJ, hell yeah! (laughs) Hell yeah! Uh, That's a good Friday night right there. (laughs) But, uh... And now, on to our... Hold up, how about Cody Schrader getting... I thought it was Nathaniel Pete. Like the number two, kinda? Well, or number one, I've thought for sure this was Nathaniel Pete's position. Just, he was starting. Yeah. But, apparently not so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. But moving on to our tight end position, uh, we have Tyler Stevens and Kibet. Chepiator. I don't know, but he's the other one that's going to yeah. be a starting tight end. And then, so. and then uh, Ryan Horstcamp. I I think going in, if we were to go back to the original podcast that we did, me and you both said Stevens was going to be the starter. So uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good right there. So. Mm-hmm. Now we are moving on to our wide receiver spots. And so there's the the Z, X, and H. And for the for the wide receiver Z, we have Chance Looper. Loop. Lots of band kids like to call him uh, Fruit Looper. Um <laughs> then we have Mookie Cooper. Cool. And Toski Dove. Everyone's favorite tiger. <laughs> no, no. Yes. There's only two. <laughs> There's only two correct answers for everyone's favorite tiger. We already named one of them. The other one's coming up. Yes. And then at the X position, winning the starter spot for that most likely very easily. Luther Burden the third. We're in number three. Wow. God, he has his own bag of chips, and he's on uh, one of the local billboards for, like, a, a, a law firm as well. <laughs> Bro. It, it's all coming up Luther. Mm-hmm. Then behind him for the X spot, we have Toski Dove and Chance Looper. Surprise, surprise. And finally, in the H spot, we have Dominic Lavette, Uh, Barrett Bannister, and Makai Miller. Eh. Who cares? Barrett Bannister! Year six! Let's go! God, can or is it seven? It's something like that. It's something ridiculous. I think it's six. Yeah. God. As bad as it sounds, I want him to get hurt so that way he can come back for year seven. Oh, jeez. So it's just like then, the era of Bannister. Just everyone bows down to him. <laughs> then your starting left tackle, out of Javon no- Foster. Yeah, Javon Foster out of nowhere. I thought this was Bobby Lawrence's. Yeah, and then backing him up is Bobby Lawrence, the big fella himself. I've been down on the field near him, and 
as a man who is six foot two, Bobby Lawrence towers over me. So surprised he didn't get the winning. He didn't win that position battle there. Uh, no surprise at left guard, however. Yeah, left guard we have Xavier Delgado, I, and backing like, him up is Luke Griffin. I feel like Delgado's been starting at left guard for like seven years at this point. Yeah. <laughs> A big then, surprise here at center, however. Oh, definitely. Um, at center, we have Connor Tolleson winning it out, being backed up by Richard Taylor, which... Funny enough, uh, I actually worked with him like a year and a half ago. And then Drake Heismeyer. Which I thought Drake was I thought Drake was supposed to be the starting center going into this. Yeah, that's why I said a surprise. Yeah. I I thought it was Heismeyer's all the way. Mm-hmm. And then at right guard, we have, as it was expected, Connor Wood. Eh, I, you shouldn't say or, that. I mean, I mean, compared to the uh, these other names listed under him, which who I've never heard of before. Walters has been. He he. he there was a thought for a bit that he could, but let's see. But backing up Connor Wood, we have EJ Nadoma Ogar. And Mitchell Walters. Yep. And then finally, your starting right tackle is Zeke Powell, backed up by Armand Mimbo. 51 for a tackle looks wrong. Yeah. Tackles should have a number in the 70s. Yes. But uh, this is a young O-line this year. (laughs) Uh, except Delgado. I think even Delgado is like a redshirt sophomore. Really? Yeah. Or like a junior or something. Well, I know Con- I, I feel like Connor Wood's been here because he was here last year and Foster was here last year and Delgado was here last year. So this is at least their second season that they'll be starting or third. Yeah. At least. I don't know. I Yeah. I But definitely there at center and right tackle, yeah. 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 Um Cook to Burden. That is the so starting good. offense. Cook to Burden's gonna be so good this year. I I hope so. I also hope Cody Schrader just blows people up. <laughs> the the designated White running back? Yes. <laughs> it's one of those where, like, uh, people are like, why is Cody Schrader here? I'm like, uh, because it's Mizzou football, and we have to have... We have to have somebody to replace who he lost in this offseason. We have Do you to... remember, right, Brock? Yeah. Yeah, can we not talk about that? Yeah, we all miss him. You know, we got Cody Schrader. He's from Truman State. We had to get him in here. You know, you look at that Mizzou roster, and what did we not have as a starter? You're, you're... Wait, what was that? You're supposed to say we didn't have a white guy. Oh, we didn't have a white guy. There you go. As I'm getting ready to look at... uh, Oh my god, if it'll load. Good lord. Every time I go to the Mizzou Athletic website, it's trash. Yeah, it's pretty funky. Like, it's now telling me that, oh, Chrome is not responding. Well, it should respond. But, uh, <laughs> we are going down to the running backs. Running backs. Yeah. B.J. Harris, Elijah Moore, yep. Schrader. 
Yeah. Uh, we aren't getting Ethan Wood. Nor are we getting Christopher Cray. So, yeah. To continue with that one white running back, it's Cody Schrader. And, and most people yes, are like, most people are probably sitting here like, oh, they're being racist about it. No, that's just how Mizzou always is. There's always one white running back and one white wide receiver. <laughs> A Barrett there, Bannister. Yeah, Barrett Bannister. Yeah, it's just Barrett Bannister. And the fans latch on to them because, you know, everyone else, oh, finesse, finesse, finesse. This guy's just out here. He's like, you know what? I see this 500-pound guy that's ahead of me. I'm just going to run him over. Like, that's why we enjoy him. But, uh, yeah. That wasn't the only news to come out for Mizzou, though. This one as came out today correct. recording. And was Yeah, it? as of today recording, uh we we landed a a player from the transfer portal out of absolutely nowhere. Out of completely left field. Miami cornerback Marcus Clark has announced that he's transferring to Mizzou to reunite with his former defensive coordinator. I don't know where this came from. I mean, from. I'll, I'll take him. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'll, I'll take the depth. He appeared in 12 games for last year and started four. Yeah, I mean, I'll take the depth. But, Ben, it is now time to give our official predictions and preview for this week's game something oh, well, we're going to be doing well there was there was the other news from this from today as well uh that was former mizzou running back tyler Beatty got cut by the ravens listen listen it, it's Beatty. game day it's game yeah. day it's game day he'll he'll be he'll land on someone's practice squad he'll be on someone's practice squad it's game day. So we can we can only hope, and it's game day. It's game day. Ben, it's time for the official prediction of the score and everything. We're going to preview the game. And it's time for a new segment here oh, on Earning Our Stripes. Man. Over, under. So the way this works, Ben, I will ask oh, you a question, and you have to tell me if it'll be over or under. Are you ready? Okay. Will Mizzou score over or under 35 points? Under. Under? Will Mizzou give yes. up? Under 35. You think they're going to score under 35? Yeah, Mizzou will score under 35. Will Mizzou give up, or over under, Mizzou will give up 21 points. Under. All right. Over under, Mizzou running backs will rush for a combined 150 yards. Under. Under. Over under Luther Burden will have seven catches. Under. Over under Brady Cook lasts three quarters. Like he plays three quarters of the game? Yeah, and then gets hurt or they bench him or something. Because it's Mizzou. Oh, uh, oh, over, over. All right. And final one. Mizzou will be plus one on turnovers after today. See, and plus one mean, does that mean we turned it over or we got the turnover from them? We got, we took the ball from them more than they took it from us. Uh, 
Okay, so I think, yes, that uh, we'll take the ball away from them more than they will from us. More so... by one or more? How many more times will we pick uh, them off, force a fumble, and recover it than them? Over. Over. All right, over one. All right, Ben. I am now, as we speak, pulling up the official line for the Mizzou game. And I'll see what Vegas has for everything for this game, if they have anything at all for Mizzou, Louisiana Tech. Mizzou is a 20-point favorite. And the over-under for total... And the over-under for total points in the game is 60 and a half. So that's what Vegas is thinking Mizzou will do. What do you think the final score and margin of victory will be in this game? It'll be... It'll be under 60 points, but I think it's like total overall, it'll be under 60. Oh, no, I was just using that for reference. I just want your, what you think the score is going to be. Oh, like what I actually think the score is going to be? Yep. I'm thinking like... Because I'm feeling it might be an old school ugly Mizzou win. Like... I'm thinking like... (sighs) Like pretty much all the Uh, wins against low, mid-level FBS teams were. I'm thinking in the 2010s and 20. Or in the 2000s. I'm thinking Mizzou wins. I think, uh, I'm thinking Mizzou wins like 35 17, 35 21, something like that. I was going to go with 28, us 28, them like 17. That would be a pretty ugly Mizzou win. Because, I mean, like, what what was the score of the uh, game against Central Michigan last year? Because I went to that one. I was there at that game live. Oh, that was so bad. (laughs) I just unlocked pain in Ben's mind. Hang on. Because, like, all of us, we were, like, we we were winning, but it's like, man, we're going to give this game up 100%. 34-24 was the final score of, uh... Yeah. That game last year against Central Michigan. So yeah, my thirty-five twenty-one sounds right. I think my thirty-five twenty-one sounds right. My thirty-five seventeen. Mizzou, yeah, because I mean Mizzou also beat North Texas forty-eight thirty-five. So yeah. So and I mean if we're just going off history of Mizzou against mid-level teams like that. Uh. Lost to Wyoming, 37-31. Beat Troy, 42-10. to Man, I miss Blaze Aldridge. God, stop. Uh, blew out Wyoming, 40-13. to uh, 65-33 win against Memphis. Uh, da, 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 52-12 victory over UConn. What the f- They played two FCS teams that year? Or no. No, 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 no. Idaho hadn't, hadn't, hadn't gone down my class yet. <sighs> yeah. Oh, boy. 2016. Mizzou beats Delaware State 79 nothing. 
Wow. That gave so much hope. And then they went into Baton Rouge and got stomped. Yeah. And then we got stomped, proceeded to get stomped by Florida, and then lost to Middle Tennessee. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's the history and of And then Missouri. lost to Kentucky. Then lost to North Carolina. Er, then lost to South Carolina. Then beat Vanderbilt. Then got stomped to smithereens by Tennessee. Beat yeah. Arkansas. And then smothered Missouri State. Yeah, that wasn't a great year. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so what's the score you're going with? I'm going with 35-17. Mizzou win. Going with 28-17. Ben's going with 28-17. Both, both of us saying, however, that your Tigers are going to be coming out with a victory over the Louisiana Tigers. That Tigers is Bulldogs. correct. And Ben, with us getting ready to wrap up, we'd like to remind everyone, we will be in Manhattan, Kansas next week for the renewing of the rivalry of the original Big 8 teams. Kansas State and Missouri will be there. Ben has his blazer. My the rest of my outfit finally showed up. We will be there. Tailgating. That's right. You heard that tailgating before the game. It's an eleven o'clock kick. ESPN two. The tickets finally came in. Kansas State said when they finally because I bought them through Kansas State Athletics. They said we can't wait for you to be cheering on our Wildcats. I'm like, uh, not uh, quite. <laughs> no. No. Uh, I would not be cheering on the Wildcats. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. So, sorry, Brian Walters, or whatever your name was, that sent me the tickets from Kansas State. I am cheering for the Tigers. <laughs> so... Mm-hmm. There is that. Ben, any final thoughts? Anything that the peop- that the fans at home should know before the game tonight coming from the stu- or coming from the band. From the band, what I know is that we will be performing our Elton John show. So be prepa- be excited and ready for that. I think it'll be really good. Um, I'm hoping for a packed out house considering it's Thursday night and everyone's still going to be in town because so many people go home on the weekends. So I'm hoping for a good turnout here at the game. Tickets are still going and, uh, as well as $9. Yeah. Also, um, band wise. It, it should be pretty easy for all of you guys to see me on the field. I carry literally the biggest instrument. And you're going to be the tallest it, guy carrying the biggest instrument. Not quite the tallest guy, but pretty darn close. But um, whenever I'm, we're lined up on the field, everybody knows where the Rock M is down in the north end zone. For example, pregame and the, our halftime show. I mean, for practically all of pregame and most of the halftime show, I will be the sousaphone player or tuba, whatever you want to call it. I will be that. I'll be that one that is the closest to the Rock M for all of pregame and most of the halftime show. So if you see me, come say hi or something. Yes, very much so. Say or hi. whenever I'm walking back, whenever I'm walking back into the stands, come say hi to me. If there is an earning our stripes sign at this game, I I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> I I <laughs> would lose sick. my mind. <laughs> I would lose my mind. There is an EOS. Get that sign. on the TV, bro. On ESPN, you. <laughs> Man. <laughs> but the next time that we come to you, it'll be after this game in preparation for K-State. Oh, we do, I do have one other thing that's not band-related, though. All right. They've been sending out... They sent out an email at the end of last week, and they sent one out the week before. But it's 
for them telling it's emails for campus faculty and staff, but the athletics and everybody is like in the school sending it out like to the the professors and staff like if you have classes that are before noon on Thursday, you can still be on campus and teach to them like in person and everything, no issues. But if you are able to make your class online on Thursday, or if you have classes that are after noon on Thursday, as much as possible, get get your class to be online or talk to your uh, your higher up about having the class be online that day because the school is trying to get literally everyone off campus as soon as possible so parking is available for the football game. Makes sense. I find it kind of funny, but it's just like... Maybe don't just like, schedule a Thursday campus. game. I know, but they're like, screw your class. We need parking spots. I can't foresee too many... But- out of towners come into this game. Yeah, but I just think that it should hopefully be a, a pretty crowded house. I would hope. I hope so. For I it hope being, the student section is for packed. it not be in the weekend. I hope the student section is packed. I hope the zoo is rocking. I hope Truman comes out and sprays everyone on the Boone County fire truck. Drinkwitz did say at First Roar, where all the freshmen showed up during Welcome Week, that he expects every single one of these freshmen to be at the game. They better be there. (laughs) Or Drinkwitz will break into your dorm and yell at you. (laughs) Drinkwitz did say at First Roar that after the game Thursday night, we everybody would be going downtown to Harpo's after the game, <laughs> and then immediately, then immediately took that back, saying, "Oh wait, you guys aren't old enough to drink yet." <laughs> but we're all going to be down at Harpo's after the game. <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> I'll I'll be crawling back into my bed after the game because. Carrying that instant instrument around and doing all them horn moves. Yeah. I'm, I'm starting to feel like an old man, dude. <laughs> You're starting to feel like gotta an take, old man, huh? Dude, I gotta take that uh, acetaminophen ibuprofen before the game. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> well, on that note, <laughs> I hope that they end up lighting the dome. It's game day! It's game day. I hope they end up lighting the dome tonight. (sighs) I've been Brock Gorton. And I've been Benjamin Duncan. And slowly but surely, we're earning our stripes. And go Tigers. Beat the Bulldogs. M-I-Z. Z-O-U.